Greetings everyone, this is Elizabeth and I'm finally excited <laughs> to share this. Um, I just recently finished a class with Nancy Stamps. She has a wonderful YouTube channel and she is also a uh, Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So you can definitely order goodies from her if you don't have a Stampin' Up! rep. Um, Stampin' Up! is a company that, from my understanding, has hosts and um, whatnot, kind of like Avon. If you've ever done Avon, you get a catalog, you get the goodies, you make stuff, and your host helps you with ideas and stuff like that. And she, Nancy Sams, had recommended that, that we do the Joy of Sharing card kit. It is a $35 kit, and with shipping, it costs me $44.99. And basically, you get to make 15 different cards with what they gave you. Now, when I said I was finally happy with this, is because this is not my cup of tea. I do not do repetitive card making at all. And so when I got this box... <laughs> I had a wee meltdown. I completely panicked. I opened the box and about died. Because it was all the same. All the same. Sheets of these little thingies. All the same. Just And then your little stamp thingy is literally little teeny weeny stamps. I mean, I've got big, big, big hands, but, you know. So I was kind of... I had a little a wee meltdown and I'm like okay it's, I talked to a few people and I was like talked myself down out of my craziness and I was like okay I'll just put the box away until Nancy's class and thank heavens for that <laughs> it was a lot of fun let me tell you but before we get into what I made I'm gonna show you what you get they all, all the little die cuts you get, I popped all of mine out, come in these sheets. So they pop out super, super easy. I literally had the whole stack of them stacked up together and was just wiggle the paper and they all just popped out. So that's nice. They're easy pop out. The packaging, mm, less, I mean, they could do better, you know, but we it came all good so yeah you get a free <clears throat> acrylic block but <laughs> there's no way i could use this because i can't get my it's literally teeny weeny um I'm, come on guys it's an acrylic block you, you can't spare like a half an inch Okay, so we'll get past that. Then they send you a little teeny weeny sampler of the Mossy Meadow, which is actually a really pretty color. They send you a sheet of embellishment glitters. Um, I wasn't sure what these were. I had to read the instructions. They're glue dots, but... I had to try one out and it was a pain. I don't know how you're supposed to get this to your work surface and peel that top coat. It just, it wouldn't release. So those, those might just go to the buy and buy. But you get two sizes of these guys. I guess I could only pick up only one. Yeah, my piles. You get two sizes of those, which are super nice. You can... You know, put them any way that you want. So those those ones I like. The pine cones, with as many pine cones as there is, I personally would have liked having half of them the other way. So that you could literally take and frame your work. Okay. And then they would be, you know, the opposites. So that was kind of weird. I 
don't see why they couldn't do, have done a sheet and just completely re reverse a couple of sheets in reverse and then you could put this at the top and this at the top and then a nice little sentiment in the center but instead you have to turn one upside down and then get your sentiment in the center so if that makes any sense i would have liked to see those in um a reverse or mirrored image would have been nice you get a nice stack of these um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, seventeen or eighteen of those. So more than the card bases. So you'll have extras of those. And then you'll have way extras because they also send you a load of the little ones. And then some banners. Okay, and here again, um, it would have been cool to see these in red and green. Okay. And same with the cards. I mean, you know, throw in an extra card, make it a 16, a nice even number. 16 cards. 8 green, 8 red. And then do half of these, again, 16, do, if you would have gave us an extra one, you could have done 8 gold, 8 silver. I prefer silver. <laughs> but for all intents and purposes, it's an okay kit. I mean, you do get a lot of accessories that you can cut up and make some cards, which brings you us but yeah so these are um a five by seven base and they're pretty sturdy and you do get 15 envelopes that are nice and sturdy too so this is the one of the cards we made and um that what we did is we took and cut one of these in half and then trimmed the green down to fit a um six and a half by four and a half Six and a half and four and a half gives you a little bit of frame for the gold. And then we use the little sentiment. And then I inked with some distress ink um, a light green. This one just happened to be shabby shutters. And I just ran some ink around it so it wouldn't be so white. And then I used three layers of dimensionals. Um, this is the Arteza. This one is some old generic stuffs and some super fat dimensionals. I didn't even use the dimensionals. Oh, yeah, they sent dimensionals too. So that's kind of cool. You get a, they're the thin ones. Um, I have, and then Arteza tape. Let's see how that ranks. So it's, is, yeah, about Arteza thickness. Maybe a little bit thicker than Arteza foam tape. Uh-oh, I killed my foam tape and now it's trying to stick to the plastic. There we go. Um, so you do get their dimensionals. So this was our first one. Again, this is six and a half by four and a half. We use the whole gold frame. They're laser cut. That's why you see this little halo. But if you just take your finger, you take a tissue, um, it wipes right off. So before you send them out in the mail, you can just spruce them up a little bit. Or leave them. <laughs> Which I will probably do. Just leave it. Okay. And then this is their stamp set. It comes with a, uh, like a little leaf sprig. I don't know if you can even see that. Comes with a little bitty pine cone, even a little bittier that a nice sentiment that fits in the bigger card. It fits in there pretty nice. It says wishing you a season filled with the special warmth of friendship, the precious joy of sharing, and the wonderful blessings of happiness. To you and yours, season's greetings, Merry Christmas cute little sayings again 
um, for the big one, you know, that's pretty much the only one you're going to get in there unless you want to, I don't know, fill that with other stuff. But if you're just using this kit, you're kind of limited on that. And then your little dinky ones would go on these singles. So there's the first one we did. Um, I don't know what order I did these in. <laughs> I was just like, ah. But this one here, um, the main focus was the sentiment was layered. And the centers of the gold pieces, okay, these pop out of the centers. And you can actually fit, if you adjust it just right, you can get a sentiment in there. Okay, kind of put it in an angle so you can get a good corner because I didn't and I got a little funky corner right there that hopefully whoever gets it won't notice. So you tape it down, trim it, and then you've got a nice gold foil. Then I took a white piece of paper, stuck it in there, stamped it. I used um, Bee Sting, my red because I didn't want a green in there. I wanted to pull in some more of the red. And then I took their little acorn stamp. And just stamped it over some plaid paper I had. So that one I thought turned out pretty good. And it's two pine cones. Two poinsettias. And then the little stamper twice. This one here. We used the gold frame. With some leftover of the plaid and here see what I mean it's just so big I put in the two sentiments and it just seems very roomy but that's that for that card I mean if you got sequins or something to put on there I'm thinking about putting some on I'm still in debate this one here um what they did is they left the whole card intact so there they put it find one intact they put theirs on like this and then they put the sentiment across the top what I did is I went and trimmed a little bit off of each end and both the sides and then went and cut all of this extra stuff off you can't really see it here but uh, I wanted a border in a border so that's what I did there and then we use the red tag here and then for this, I literally stamped half the stamp, then stamped it with the other color at the same time. So if you see some of the reds on this side, a little bit of green on that side. Okay. So that sentiment's nice and big that you can actually do that with. Just uh, do it in different colors. See if that'll focus a little bit better. And then I just stuck these guys straight down. So these will be flat mailers. And then somebody said they were embossing something. And I was like, ooh, I have an embossing folder that has poinsettias on it. So I ran a little piece of that in there. Trimmed it with some uh, uh, washi tape. But it looks like my washi, it's not very sticky. So I'm going to have to go in and glue that down. And then I did the sentiment again with their green. It's actually a really nice green, the Mossy Meadow. It would have been cool if they sent a red one. <laughs> so you had the red-green option. But see, this is what I mean about this. I just kind of wish this was in reverse so I could put it upright. So, yeah. Not too shabby, I don't think. And then these ones are done straight up on the card bases. And I wanted to make this a six pack. So I've got two that have the plaid. And then I've got this one and this one. So I want to make another one of these. Similar, but not the same. And another one of these. So what I started... So I've got the two... Because they need to be that size to be part of a set. I ran this through my embossing folder. 
Okay. And I took a little um, nail file and just went right over it. And what it does is it rips up some of the green so the white shows through because it's a white core. Now that I have it like that, um, this time I'm going to take some of my bee stain and go over it. This one, I took the fire bricked distress and I just rubbed it on and I didn't care that it like went all over and it just inked up the whole thing. I got ink in between the places, but here I want it to be on top. So I'm going to go in with my blender tool and just help it sit on the top and be super light so I don't push it in. And I don't want it as dark as I had the other one. I just kind of want it to be more of a hint of red. And of course it'll be more red on the spots that are uh, white, hopefully. And there we go. So now I don't have all the red in between the green. Just a nice little coloring there. Wipe up the mess. And then this one, I think I'm going to do with silver trimming. So I'm just going to adhere this down. Maybe. Oh my goodness. And because this is embossed, I want to make sure there's good contact. So I'm going to put four pieces on. And... I think I'm going to do it up. The, this one, I had it in the center. I think I'm going to do... Ooh, I better turn this the right way. So it opens up this way. I'm going to stick it up towards the top a little bit. Now, if you don't have a poinsettia embossing folder, you can use anything Christmassy. Snowflakes, um, outdoors trees. I mean, anything that you could squeeze into the holiday season. Okay. Get that as lined up as good as we can. The last <laughs> when I did the other card, the ink set on top of the card and it didn't soak in and I manhandled that thing and my fingers were bright red. I didn't even notice. I got ink everywhere on my chopper. Ugh. What a nightmare. Okay, I'm trying to let's do me out. I got you guys just a little too close, I think. doesn't want to let go this one seems a little bit stickier 
Nope, I lied. It's only sticky on the... Okay, so if you find that your... Uh, your tape isn't very sticky, you can um, use some of your fabulous... Uh, pardon me, I'm grabbing a strip of paper here. Your little glue. Nothing exciting. Just... Thunk. Just like that. Lay it down. Now I'm in debate. Do I want to glue it all the way across or do I want it framed again? And I'm thinking we're going to go all the way across. I think it'll be interesting that way. And kind of get an eyeballing for how much I need to glue up. And then just set the glue on. Oops, maybe. And pull that out. Ooh, you're being... Flimsy, flimsy tape. I want to make sure I cover the edge. Kind of have it even. Even amount of green. There we go. And I don't mind that it hangs off a little. We'll just cut that down later. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Okay. Get a little piece for... Top here. And with the Elmer's glue stick, it does let you reposition it. I mean, it's not permanent for a bit. Let me squeeze it down. Kind of get it. Oops, come here, you. Get another idea there <laughs> glue stick and I are just having some fun over here let me tell you let's stick to everything and make a mess all right down we go where we stop nobody knows all right oops nope don't pinch up all right look at that Get this glue stick out of my way before I'm making a catastrophe. And off with you. Okay, and you can see that I am like way off on this side. So I'm just going to peel that up. Easy peasy. Try again. And see how having it stick off one end when I cut it close at this end, I was able to move it down. And now, that will be our framed in area. I'm going to flip it over and push. Um, I do this for a couple of reasons. One, it keeps me from bumping whatever's sticking up. Two, if anything's not completely dry, you're a little bit safer. Three, things like these tapes, if you scrape them, their pretties fall off. So we don't want to lose any of that. So if you flip it over and press everything down, I think that just keeps everything a little bit safer. You could also put a piece of paper over the top of the project. 
you know, you get another sheet and then go like this. You know, whatever, whatever works. Especially if you've got a habit of leaving ink behind. <laughs> I've done that. Flipped something over, went to press down, picked it up, and there was ink all over. Did we panic? Nope. We just inked it all up like it was supposed to be like that. All right. So there's that. Now for this one, we used that big sentiment. Let's see. I do want to use... Ooh, no. I do not want to use that. What if we did this? down here oh look at that okay so we're gonna do this and i'm not i don't mind that it covers it up okay that happens do i want it left out nope do i want it nope i want it right over the top because it still gives us the good little lines on the side so i'm gonna put that there and then right here I am, then this is where creativity comes in. You have a crap ton of these things, okay? I mean, there's an overabundance of them. So we're going to look at them like this and then flip one and see how that's going to go. Maybe go like this with this in the center maybe pull this down just a hair I'm not liking that so let's turn it the other way flip them this way put that in the center oh yeah see that's a little bit better okay now I don't want this so white. So I'm gonna ink the edges of this one. Um, 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 let me find something a little tannish. Or do I wanna go green again, like I did with the other ones? What have I got? Old paper. Let's see what old paper looks like. Inking brush. Ooh, that's a nice little aging green there. So, if you have a tan color, a light green color, anything just to edge, ink up those edges. And we're going to do the same with these because I don't want them stark white. And I had a little puddle, but I don't know where it went. And it's not fabulous. It's not really going to show if I go over the top of the um, flower. Okay. But what it does is it changes that stark white to a more antique that fits with the coloring. Okay. So that's all we're doing is we're just changing the dramatic white to something and you can use green you can use blue you can use whatever color floats your boat okay and then we just make sure we didn't miss anything because it's very subtle i mean it's not like whoo it's green or whoo it's you know, it's super subtle. That one was the old paper one. So I really like that one. So we're going to come back to this. We're going to put a simple piece of tape down the back of this. Oh, I guess I should pick out a sentiment, huh? I'm going to stick that down without saying anything. Now, here's the other thing. Just because it came with sentiments doesn't mean you have to use those sentiments. Okay. I am, however, going to use 
a sentiment that it already has. I guess I should line it up this way. Nope, nope, nope. I want to make sure I get an even, <laughs> even amount of silver on both sides. Scooch that up just a hair. Don't. Good to go. And then we were doing the berries down. Berry down. And then berry up. And then a poinsettia in the center. Oh, yeah. Let's pull that one just a hair. There we go. And we're going to pop that one up. So that one overlaps a little. Keep these ones flat. And if you notice, I just use a little bit of tape. They're cards. They're probably not going to get kept. So, you know, you can glue the whole thing down. You could tape tape and glue. I've seen people do that. I mean, and I've done it depending on the surface, you know, you want it to really stick or it needs help flattening out a little bit. So that was over the top of that just a hair. But I think I'm going to go like that maybe. Oh yeah. Okay. So stick that down. Now this we're going to use we're going to use some of their dimensionals. See how those work. They pop up just like other dimensionals. They're a neat shape. That's for sure. Got that one a little too close to the edge. And right there, maybe one in the center. I do overabundance of pop dots because <laughs> you don't want it to sag in the middle, right? You want it to stay up, stay upright. Okay, something is being sticky. Me. Oh, really? They're kind of. Typical pop dots, the little papers never want to leave. These are kind of really sticky, staticky. Get. Okay, almost. Yay! That one out of there. And then. Ooh, they're super sticky though. That's nice. And then just kind of pop that up in the center. So that one's almost done. I just need my little sentiment. And for this one, let me do Merry Christmas, I think. Definitely not using their block. So I will grab my block. And, um, so I'm going to do it in the green since it's sitting on red. Do it in their nice green. And then just kind of eyeball it. And go. Ta-da! Look at that. See, and dirtying up the edges makes it more lovely with that. We have company coming up. I will put you on pause. Maybe. Have my phone on silent so they weren't able to send me a message. That dinner is done. But before I go, I'm going to pop. Oh my goodness. My fingers ah, are not working today. I'll pop this up in the center. Just like that. Okay. So we have two popped up elements. 
some reds. Okay, these are annoying. And this is another reason <laughs> I bought the Arteza tape. Because then you only peel off one, one bit. Okay, so now we're going to eyeball it. And voila! So there's that one. So now this one will be with that one. Because they're similar but different. Okay, and then when I come back from dinner, I will make the other one of these. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Alrighty, I'm back. Dinner was fabulous. Then I watched Nancy Stamps and her fabulous team do a Stamp Wars. It was excellent. If you haven't seen a Stamp Wars, go to Nancy Stamps. Look for the Stamp Wars. It's fantastic. But, uh, so... I left off. We're going to do something similar to this so that I have um, another set for or another piece for my set. And I've already went through and I don't know if you can tell. Oh, here's a. So this is what the original looks like. Okay. A nice fine detail. And I just went through and trimmed off a little bit on all the sides so it's just a hair smaller so that i get this oops wrong one so i get a neat little border in there okay so that's how that's gonna go so we're going to glue this one down actually i might actually have to buy some new glue after years of having this stuff there's not much left just go thin little strip right around the edges little dots here and there for the fine detail Oops. Stick your fingers in it, though. And voila. That is done. Now, these frames give a nice border on the original card pa panel. So, that's the actual card. Hey, nobody invited you to the party. So I'm just going to set this down. And because it's a liquid adhesive, it gives me a little bit of room. Which, look at me. <laughs> so there's that is down. Now this piece, I don't need to be so fancy. I'm just going to put a little bit of tape up in that corner. A little bit of tape right there. And a wee morsel there. And maybe a little bit there. Just because this has got kind of a bend to it. Okay. So now... Oops. We're just going to set this in there so that there's a little bit of room around everybody. And voila! It's a little off, but that's okay. Now I have a little bit of room in between the original and that. And for that one, we did the big sentiment. I'm thinking I'm going to put a sentiment... Crossed there like so and then put that in the middle 
maybe do poinsettia there, poinsettia there, kind of tip it. And then there's three sizes of this poinsettia. So there's the big size. I think I'll go with the little size. Like so. And then I'm going to pop this centerpiece up. So we'll have it like that. And then they're similar but different. And that makes me happy. Alright. So what are we going to do? We're going to... Oops, we don't need two of those in there. Okay, so these are going to be underneath everybody. And I'm kind of debating. Do I want to pop them all up or just... The one in the middle. I'm thinking these two definitely flat. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. And these are small little pieces. So I definitely don't need that much. Stick them. Just a little. Little bit of double sided. In there. Now these ones I'm not going to dust the color. <laughs> around the edges. Because I forgot to do it on that one. So we'll keep them more similar and have them the bright white not a big deal okay and then we kind of had this one sticking out over here and then this one we're gonna go diagonal i'm gonna drop it right there I think I'm going to use the skinny dimensionals this comes with. Get my tweezers for this because picking them off with the knife was a pain. So I'm going to put some dimensionals on this. And in the middle, get that little corner there. Here we go. Okay. Oh, they're stuck down. Should be fine. Definitely a better choice to use the tweezers to take that off. Okay, and then I'll wait to set that down until I get this one all peeled. And these dimensionals are a little bit thinner than the ones I'm going to use for the centerpiece. So I don't want them looking exactly the same. So we have the big leafy there. So I just want to make sure they're turned differently. And I kind of want that one like that. And how about that one? Like that. And then... We're going to take this big old beastie here and we're going to give that one oops, some big old chunk of foam tape. Now these popped up ones, they'll need to be taken into the post office so they get hand canceled. You could add extra postage and pray that they skip the machine. They don't always. Because they might just think you have the extra postage on there because it might weigh more instead of needing the hand cancel. So keep that in mind when you go to do some mailing.
and the United States Postal Service. I've been reading up the first ounce on basic cards, which that's this fits in the category a letter. The uh, first ounce is your basic forever stamp. Each additional ounce is 15 cents, and then another 15 cent stamp to have it hand canceled. So if this is a hair over an ounce, you need um, basically 75 cents, right? 55, 65, 70 cent stamp. And then right down the center, just like that. Oh, ooh, I should have had, that should be all right though. That one might be better hand delivered. <laughs> you know what? Hmm. <laughs> I'm thinking we're going to take one of these. And we're going to see how do we want to do it. I'm going to take and I'm going to cut it angled in. So I'm going to angle it up. Then I'm going to angle it down. And I'm going to put that right over there. Yep. So that our sentiment... Because it's going to be a thin sentiment, so it's going to be okay to cover a little bit of the bar. Looking for my tape that's right in front of me. And this is usually how I work. I go with an idea, and then as I'm going, something will say, Hey, let's do this instead. And there's nothing wrong with that. So this is going to go here. And then this one is going to say, what is it going to say, guys? Let's see. Let's do Season's Greetings. Now you can get your Misty out and stamp it, but I'm going to use the green that it comes with. And I know that's a pretty good green. So we're going to do that. Where's my other stamps? Put you oops, over there. So I'm just going to use my little stamp block here. A couple little taps. You can check to make sure it's all filled in. Make sure there's no... Okay. And then eyeballing right in the center. Down it goes. Yeah. Dry it a little. Turn it over and get some stickum. Just like that. And then we're going to center this in here. Close enough. Gonna get our fabulous glue out. Oops, got a little too much glue on there. My bad. Just wipe it off a little bit. All right. And that looks a little thick right there, too. Just smoosh it out and le let it share. Now, I'm going to try and be a little careful because glue on metallic may not stick. And, you know, I'm going to offset it just a hair. I think that will just give it some extra texture and dimension. And I got glue all over it. Oops. No, no squishing around now. Just stay put. Okay. And what I'm going to do 
Let's grab my little towel and see if I can't wipe some of that glue off. Ooh, I smooshed it bad. Oh no, not panicking yet. We're gonna do that. I'm gonna get the edge of my towel a little with the water. That is water, right? <laughs> I have two squirt bottles that are exactly the same. All right, that worked. There we go. I'm just buffing it out a little bit because it's really gooey. And some of that's from the laser cutting, leaving the little residue. Oops, and I tore my paper a little bit right there. And again, I'm not worried about it because I'll just get a green. That one's not quite the same. Let me get something darker. Ooh. How about their green? <laughs> Blend it in with that one. And there we go. I'll just take it all the way around. Definitely make a boo-boo, no big deal. Just go in and straighten it out. And voila. So this here has a little double stacking going on with the season's greetings. Pull it out a little bit. There you have it. So that one is similar to that. And this one's all flat. And this one's kind of popped up for that extra special family person. And then watch me make a mess. And then, <laughs> okay, clean your mess. Then we can show off the cards. So this one, this one was made in the class. This one we made together, similar but different. Okay, and these are using the whole five by seven card. Okay, so there's those two. Then I used a piece of plaid. This one here, I stamped that little acorn that came with the set. And then used four of the little things and then did some layering with some of the scraps and whatnot. And then the, this one was super easy because it's just these two little pieces on top of that one. And then this pair that we just finished. This one I did in class and then this one I worked with you. And it's just an extra nice little detail I think. And I appreciate you guys stopping by and checking this out. Um, I am going to link Nancy Stamps YouTube in the description. Um, this was a private class, but you can definitely check her out and then ask her um, if you have any Stampin' Up! questions. Her Stampin' Up! is probably through Nancy McCabe, but uh, definitely check her out. She does wonderful things, and she's got videos on other Stampin' Up! stuff, as well as regular stuff. So, um, thank you very much, and we will see you next time where I go through, and I'm going to make some of these cards in different sizes. So, we're going to veer away from what it comes with and make our own, kind of like this one from the class. We'll see you later. Have a great night, everyone. Go get your fingers dirty. Do some inking. Bye-bye.